they made a decision a long time ago that they had a, uh, a stake in, in the soils and, and the water, and it's just fundamental. Uh, we have to have stronger soils and cleaner water, and we have to manage that water differently if we're gonna continue to be competitive in this state. So that's what drives us, that's our overall mission, and, and so they've made a big effort to invest in people and, and to actively engage farmers across the, the state uh, and, and really applying science, helping them to become better. And, and that's the overall reason. We're trying to be better at producing, to be profitable, and to take care of our natural resources. Do you agree that there's a need for $4 billion and what percentage of that should go toward these cost share agreements with farmers? Yeah, it's a shared investment. And, and so farmers are gonna be investing their dollars each and every, and they do now. Uh, and we've made great progress in, in soil conservation. We still have work to do, but, but that's one of the big successes that we've had. Now moving on to nutrients, the science assessment helps us understand the scope and scale of the challenge. The fact that we're so nutrient rich in this state and that we have the infrastructure to produce and then we have this rainfall that fluctuates, we have dry years and wet years and, and farmers are, are farming in the face of that weather. So it's complex, these challenges are complex, but the scope and scale of the problem, if you will, is, is very large. We're owning a very large challenge. And, and so what we're about is really helping define the next generation of agriculture and what it's gonna look like. 